Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about foreign bodies. In terms of foreign bodies, they may only um, cause issues with the front of the eye or they may in fact actually penetrate through the eye and cause issues with various structures along the way and then end up at their final destination which is usually the retina. If you'd like to learn more about this condition then please stay tuned. So as indicated from my introduction, depending on where the foreign body actually ends up, that's what the foreign body ends up getting named after. So what I mean by this is if the foreign body exclusively causes issues with the cornea and that's where it in fact is embedded, then we refer to this as a corneal foreign body. Similarly, if the foreign body penetrates through the eye and the various layers and ends up in the retina, then we call it an intraocular foreign body or a retinal foreign body. In terms of what symptoms patients can experience with foreign bodies, these can range from a whole host of things, but commonly they can include pain, sensitivity to light and watering. These classic generic symptoms tend to come about because of the fact that the front surface of the eye, the cornea, is the most sensitive part of one's body and it has exposed corneal nerve ends and that is why the condition tends to be so terribly painful. A lot of the time we tend to find that patients who have had um, corneal foreign bodies or metallic foreign bodies um, embedded into the cornea, it's usually associated with work-related incidents and more often than not patients unfortunately do not wear the appropriate eye protection, for example goggles, um, and the vast majority of these conditions could potentially be prevented by wearing good appropriately fitted safety goggles. After you present to a suitable medical or ophthalmic practitioner for a thorough investigation after you've sustained what you feel is a potential corneal or intraocular foreign body, your eye will need to be comprehensively examined to ensure that all foreign body objects are removed from the eye. This will include looking under the eyelid because that is where foreign bodies can classically be embedded and go on to cause ongoing symptoms despite the foreign body being removed. After this has been done, the um, back of the eye will also need to be examined and um, in a systematic approach, the layers of the eye and structures of the eye are examined from front to back to ensure that nothing is missed. Once this has been carried out and performed, this may actually need to be done with the assistance of some um, eye drops that contain anesthetic to make the procedure more comfortable for the patient. The um, practitioner will then endeavor to remove any foreign bodies that are present and visible, um, are classically embedded within the cornea. This can either involve using a needle or other devices such as a burr device. The ultimate goal is to remove the foreign body safely um, and to leave the cornea intact and then to prescribe the patient um, lubricant antibiotic ointment to ensure that any potential secondary infection and the risk of a potential secondary infection is negated by the prophylactic use of antibiotics. This will also ensure that the eye stays as comfortable as possible as the cornea undergoes its healing process which can take um, 48 hours um, up to a week. So that's the purpose of being prescribed antibiotic ointment eye drops. After being discharged from the hospital and whilst your cornea is undergoing its healing process, it would be advisable to take oral analgesia as and when needed. And also additionally, it would be important to wear um, sunglasses, for example, if there is um, sunlight present and and or glare, um, as this will help to reduce your symptoms of sensitivity 
to light. Thank you for watching this short video in my series of short videos about eye conditions and terminology. Today we discussed um, foreign bodies within the eye or on the surface of the eye and the classic symptoms that patients may experience with them and how they are treated. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, small channels and new channels require the support of um, followers such as yourself. Um, so I would please actively encourage you to subscribe to help my channel to grow. And um, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest releases, then please do click on the bell icon. Um, I would love to hear from you. Please do comment below. Um, have you had a foreign body? Have you had one removed? Um, what caused you to sustain your foreign body injury? Was it um, at work? Was it outside of work? Were you wearing goggles? Were you not wearing goggles? Please do let me know. Until the next time, thank you so much. Bye.